morning. Yes, it's Monday. And this is the best way to start any day, is exercising. And if you're watching a recording, it's morning somewhere. It's a round planet and it's spinning around. There's a sun and morning is usually when that this, the light comes on, you know, from the outside that you don't have to turn a switch. It just keeps happening every 24 hours or so. I'm Cam Parker. I'm your certified personal trainer. I have over 30 years of experience and I specialize in beginners and seniors and anyone that just wants to get in a routine, get in a habit and have a personal trainer cueing them on what to do. My workouts follow a pattern. They go, if you go in numerical order, the co-videos, you're going to be doing mostly upper body, then a lower body, and then a functional fitness workout. And that's going to repeat itself on a weekly basis. You need two to three strength training workouts, two to three sessions, 30 to 60 minutes every week, with or without me, for the rest of your life. That's right. That's what you need to feel your best. I mean, you don't have to do it. I mean, lots of people don't do it. But if you do it, you're going to get stronger. You're going to feel lighter on your feet and you're going to feel happier and you're going to enjoy yourself. Yes, that's my, that's my promise. All right, so this is a recording. It is live right now. It might be a recording when you watch it. And the thing is, is I want you to stay safe. So if you get tingling, buzzing, pain, knife stabbing pain, please stop what you're doing and seek the advice of a licensed healthcare professional. I am a certi certified healthcare professional. I do have a big piece of paper, but it is a, uh, I have a degree in creative writing. I have a creative license, a real one, yes. So we're gonna take our weights and we're gonna warm up our shoulders because we are doing upper body and this is very good for the shoulders. Welcome, people are jumping on to work out. We're gonna do 10, hey Michelle, what's up? Gonna pump it up just 10 times. Just start waking up. I hope you've been moving around. But it's okay if you just crawled out of bed. You're like, oh, I gotta go look at Facebook or YouTube. YouTube doc, you know, Cam Parker, personal trainer on YouTube. And I gotta get my workout in. That's the right attitude, even if you're sleepy. So we did about 10 light shoulder presses and 10 behind the head tricep extensions. And now we're going to go do this one right here. And the warm-up's not exact. It's about 10 reps per position. And there's a few different positions to get your rotator cuffs warmed up and start getting you thinking about, I'm going to work out now. Yes, I'm going to connect my brain to my body. Come into my body, please. Okay, here we go. We're going to, so I did that twisting bicep curl. Do you see that? And then I'm going to take my arm and Pour out. I have two cans of beans. They weigh about a pound each. If you have weights at home, uh, two pounders, three pounders. Most people don't have one pounders. You could have cans of beans. Um, but please don't go over three pounds. It doesn't matter who you are, how tall you are, how big you are. Just use three pounds or less for this opening warm up for the shoulders. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. We pour by alternating. Now we're going to pour together. And we're going to pour out all the obstacles to keeping yourself safe, right? We're going to stay safe by paying attention to our body and how our body feels. Yes? We pour out all the obstacles because that way you keep going. If somebody gets hurt, then unfortunately that's a reason to wait to be in your routine again. And you want to fit fitness in. That's why they call it fitness. You fit it into your schedule. So I appreciate you doing this and staying in a routine of two to three times a week. All right, we're still pouring out all those obstacles to having a fitness-based lifestyle. We're going to celebrate our health and wellness. Yes, whoa, out with the obstacles to feeling our best. Celebrate feeling our best. Yes, out with the obstacles. In with the success. Bam. Love it. Do a few more of these. It's okay if you can't do this big arm sweep. Just do what you can do. This is a range of motion exercise. And right now you might just be able to go a little bit up, not all the way up without discomfort. So we don't really want that discomfort, especially anything sharp, okay? All right, one more time. Woo, feeling that, I'm waking up. I want you to believe in yourself today and always and know that you're in charge of you. Your body's not in charge of you, you're in charge of your body. All right, last one. 
right here. Uh, arms are parallel to the ground, your upper arms. And you're going to roll it like this. Okay? Hey, Ashley, what's up? There we go. About, just about 10 of these. This, I, you know, I do this all the time. This is Co Video 89. Can you believe it? And it was today's date, uh, the date of the recording, or the date of the live activity is October 19, 2020. And it's amazing, 89 workouts, three weeks since March. Bam! Some of you have been with me the whole time. Awesome! All right, so we are doing upper body. And our upper body, but let's go ahead and kick our butt just a little. We're just going to get our blood flowing because when winter happens, and of course if your house is really warm, it doesn't apply as much, but some of us sleep with it a little chillier, and you want to get your blood flowing so that you're more likely... Uh, to do well, feel your body, and less likely to get hurt. Okay. All right, we got march in place. Let's get those knees up nice and high. Nice and high. Yeah, yeah. Just keep it going. High knees, high knees. High knees. Yes. Mm -hmm. Raise those up. Raise those knees up. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. That's right. Okay, now you're going to either do the step jack or I want you to do a jumping jack. Let's just do 10 of those. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Soft knees. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This will bring our arms up and just kick up like this. Kick up your heels. Having a good time. Working out. Moving our bodies. Yes. Come on, just getting that blood flowing, right Karen? Let's go. All right, mm -mm 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 -mm. 10 more jumping jacks, ready, and, or step jacks, ready, go. One, two, three, step jack as you just step out to the side. Six, or seven, we'll just make up numbers, eight, and nine, and 10, and high knees again, All right? High knees, squeeze those abs when you pick those knees up, squeeze. Squeeze and keep breathing. That's your challenge, really. When you're working out, is to let your heart rate come up. Keep your breathing as relaxed as you can, as deep as you can, and it's okay to be breathless, right? And if you keep finding yourself struggling to breathe, ask yourself, am I doing a regular cardio workout? Am I doing 20 minutes of continuous movement four times a week? Because that's the bare minimum of a cardio subscription, no, I think that's different, prescription for feeling fit and feeling good. That's your, did you know if you do four sessions a week of 20 minutes each, you lower your chances of stroke by 60%? That's freaking awesome! Okay, all right, I feel pretty warm, you feel pretty warm? Okay, first thing we're doing is we have two choices, shoulder press, you need a strong, sturdy chair, and by the way, when we take a break, you will need a belt today. I'm going to have to go grab a belt. Something that doesn't stretch, so like a yoga strap or something like that. So shoulder press, we're going to do seated, and we're going to press up. We're going to keep it isolated. We worked real hard last week. We're going to uh, concentrate on our shoulders today and our arms and our core. Okay, so I'm standing tall. However, if you feel like you want to do something more vigorous, you hold it, and you squat, and you press. You squat, and you press. But another alternative, because what we're focusing on is the power in your shoulders, is called a pike push-up. Okay? So some of you will do this, and some of you will not. And it's okay. You're going to do what's appropriate for your fitness level and your safety. So I put my hands on the ground, and I'm in a pike position, kind of like downward dog. And I push up, right? So I do a push up on the ground. So we're going to do 12 of these, 12 of these. Are you ready? So I'm going to start with the seated shoulder press because I want everybody to see me do that and I want you to do it well with strict form, okay? There we go. We got, you can have your cans or you're going to have the gallons of water, which are eight. If you have weights at home, you might use fives. Eights, tens, twelves, you decide. Here we go. Sitting up tall, pressing up. One, going to twelve. 
two, three, four, five, six, looking good, seven, eight, nine, do you notice I control it on the way up and down, ten, I don't let it fall down towards my head, eleven, one more, and twelve. Very good. It is okay. If you're someone who, when you straighten your arms, you get pain or discomfort in your shoulders, you may want to think about working in the range, like even a slower or a lower range of movement to see if you can work around that discomfort. Okay, so the next thing are shoulder tap planks, shoulder tap planks, right? So I'm going to demonstrate by doing it on the chair. I believe almost everyone can do this. But if you know that your fitness level means you're on the ground, so go to the ground. So here I am on the chair, getting to a good strong plank. What does that mean? I pull my belly button in, tighten my butt muscles, my glutes. I'm gonna lock my arms and then I'm gonna alternate for clapping, slapping, tapping my shoulders. Okay, I'm gonna do 12 of these. So on the slow side, so I'm in a nice plank, go to the ground if you can, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. So if you found doing it on the chair pretty easy, you're going to go to the ground next time. Also, if you found it really hard to lift your arm and clap, slap your shoulder, you're going to just hold plank while I count down, okay? Count up, what, you know, what do I count? Okay, next one is step overs or jump overs. So I need you to pretend on the ground is anything you want. It could be a cat, it could be a dog, but it's just pretend. And you're going to step over very quickly like that. Or you're going to do a nice soft jump side to side, okay? You pick. 30 seconds, you ready? Doesn't matter if you are, do it anyway. Ready, go, boom. I'm gonna do that ski jump, yeah. Pretending I'm on the, on the slopes, right? My little bunny slope out here in my yard, my little hill. I sled if I get enough snow. I love sledding until I get it 100% completely exhausted. Love that feeling. Then I go in and I get a really big Warm meal, yes. Keep jumping, side to side. Side to side, nice and soft. A little bit more, that's it. Good job, okay. So at, you know the deal, right? We're gonna go back to those three things and do them again. Okay, so you can press, shoulder press from the chair. This time I'm gonna do the second level, which is the squat press, okay? Makes it more vigorous but it doesn't put me in that pike push-up position yet. So I'm gonna place my gallons of water here, my eight pound weights. I'm gonna squat, press. Ready, 12 times, and go. One, two, three, remember the smiling part, four, five, squeeze your butt, six at the top, seven, Eight, nine, keep going. Ten, control those weights. Eleven, one more. And twelve. Good job. Yes, when you're seated, you can still squeeze your butt. You just instead of just relaxing it, you'll notice the difference. All right, so I'm definitely going to go to the ground for my shoulder tap planks. Okay. So, you can do it from the chair, no problem. And remember, it's okay just to hold plank, all right? So I'm in plank, right? And shoulder tapping, ready, go. One, two, keep your body still. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Very good. Now, so you're going to say, well, what's the purpose of that? Well, when you tap, this arm, the arm that's holding you up, is locked in place. It strengthens your chest and your tricep. 
So it's kind of a isometric for that. But also for your core, did you notice when you pick your arm up, you want to turn your core, or your hips shift, your, in your brain, you got to say, no, stay still. Body must stay still as you tap. That's where the benefit comes from, is your body connecting to stabilizing muscles, right? Okay, we're going to do our step overs. 30 seconds. So you're either going to step over like this really fast, or you're going to keep both feet together, your legs together, and jump side to side. Ready, go. Yes. Boom, boom. Jump in. Or step in. You're jumping. Or you step in. You're jumping. Or you step in. Jump, 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 jump. J is one of my favorite letters. And of course, my name is Kamla. Cam. And K is one of my favorite letters, too. I think I like all the letters, but those are my favorites. You know I like the W too. Keep going, you got a few more seconds. Go, 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 jump or step. You step in or you're jumping. Step in or you're jumping. And stop. Woo! Just that little movement and my calves are burning. What's up with that? Okay, so we're going back to the beginning. Get a sip of water if you need it. I have water sitting right here somewhere. Oh, I thought I did. I remember getting water. <laughs> so, pike push-ups are what I'm going to do. So I'm in the downward dog position. Please don't do those if you don't feel you can keep yourself off your head. If you fall on your head, that's bad. So you're either going to do the seated shoulder press or the squat press or for the last round, pike push-ups. Or you might have been doing them all the time. Okay, 12 reps. 12 reps. You ready? Okay, you can do it on your hands or on your knuckles. I know, just get carried away there. All right, so I'm in the pike position. You might be pressing, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, don't rush, control those weights, ten, control your body, eleven, one more, and twelve, awesome, okay, those are tough, for sure, for sure, something you can work up to, for sure, that was really good, all right, so, plank, shoulder taps. Are you going to use the chair? Are you going to go to the ground? Everyone can also just hold plank on the chair. You don't have to tap if you don't feel confident. All right, here we go. We're going to plank on the ground. 12 shoulder taps, nice and slow and controlled. Lock your body in place. Lock your glutes. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, hold that plank, 10, 11, and 12. And always get up with control and with good form. You want to move. Most people don't get hurt during an exercise. They get hurt uh, getting ready or finishing the exercise, right? Okay, so the next one is the step overs or the jumps. Which one are you going to do? All right, I'm going to do that jump again. All right, ready to go. Jump in or step in. You pick. Boom, boom. Nice and soft, though. Yeah. If you're jumping, you got to learn to really stay soft, like a spring. Spring, spring, spring. All right, like in the, remember those cartoons where they could put springs on the bottom of their feet? Yeah. Or you can step nice and smooth, right? We're still stepping nice and smooth and quick. All right, there you go. Here you go, you pick. Got a few more seconds. Keep moving, don't stop early. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta keep going. A few more seconds, a few more seconds, and stop. Good. Bravo. All right, definitely wanna get a sip of water. Thank you for that, I could make one, but I didn't wanna do it. All right, water delivery happened. Hmm. You watch, I'm going to find my water sitting around here somewhere. Okay, 
So, the next thing we're going to do is called a balance. We've done them. You know, at this point, if you've been following along with me for anywhere from four to six weeks, some of you has been much longer since March of 2020. <laughs> as uh, you're learning a vocabulary. So I might say something now and you go, oh, I know what that is. But I'm always gonna explain it, give you proper form so you get the most out of it. So this one's a little different. It's a balance row, but you are going to be on your elbow. So I'm gonna put my elbow on the chair, raise up the opposing leg, and all that does is it's gonna change the angle a little bit so I hit the, my muscles a little bit hopefully a little more lat, which is a large muscle right here attached up into your armpit, goes all the way down to your waist. It's all the way down your back. So I'm gonna set up two things. I'm gonna set up my gallon of water. Hopefully everybody can use those. If you haven't tried it, today, today's a good day to try because you can always go back to the can or to, if you're doing eight pounds, you can go back to five pounds if you have those. So, but we do want a lightweight next to the heavyweight because what this is called is called a superset. So I'm going to come down into my balance position, really focusing on keeping that leg up, keeping the standing leg soft. I'm going to row for 12 from this position, chest out, and I'm going to pick up my can, and I'm going to superset a straight arm row, or it's called a back fly. Okay, so we're going to do those two movements back to back. Everybody ready? Got your chair. If you feel very uncomfortable on your elbow, just go ahead and go back to a straight arm hand. Okay? It's all right. This is just a variation. It's not right, wrong, good, bad. Okay? All right, here we go. I'm on my elbow. My leg is up high. Standing knee is soft. And I'm rowing for 12. I'm going to let my head relax. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more, twelve. Now I'm going to stay in the position, grab the can, which is about a pound, and I'm going to raise it up straight arm like this. One two, three, keeping that leg up, four, five, six, control that weight up and down, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent. So, ironically, Remember that can movement is tiny little muscles, but to be in that position, holding that leg up, that's a big muscle, right? I felt that in where my hamstring inserts into my glute, and I felt the hamstring on the standing leg from holding the position. So one thing I do for you with my method to my madness is working in other muscle groups with what we're focused on, right? Okay, so we're switching sides. I'm gonna come down on the other elbow, lifting the leg nice and high. My chest is out, my head is relaxed. Just relaxed, and I'm gonna pull this weight up 12 times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Control that weight, keep that leg up. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now don't drop the leg. Pick up that little weight. Here we go. Fly, back fly. One, two, heads relaxed. Three, four, five, six, seven. Tighten your core, eight, holding that leg up, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Very good. Oh, it's funny where I feel that. That's called an isometric exercise when you get 
benefit just from holding a position, right? Okay, the next thing we're doing is a boat pose. You remember how to do that? I'm gonna lower this down just a hair. Boat pose. So you can do a boat pose in a chair by just picking your knees up as long as you don't touch the back of your chair. And perhaps a better way to do it, if you can get to the ground, is you just balance on your butt. We're doing 30 seconds. This is a modified boat pose because my legs are bent. If you're more advanced or you do a lot of yoga, you want to straighten your legs and hold this pose. But if you can't stay up in the V, you want to bend. I would rather your knees be closer to your chest than you try to straighten your legs. Okay? We have 10 more seconds, so squeeze your abs as tight as you can right now. And you're just hanging out in boat pose. Here we go. Chest is out. And we're down. Good. All right, very good. Now we're going to repeat. We don't need much of a break. We're not jumping around. And we're focused on our muscles. Now I will tell you that for me, the one gallon is, a is becoming and has become very light. So I've gotten stronger. Now, unfortunately, or fortunately, because I'm sticking to the equipment I have, I'm going to just double up my gallons. That's going from 8 pounds to 16 pounds. So, obviously, if I premeditated this moment, I could have a gallon of water that I poured half of it out. And then that would make 12 pounds. So, hey, next time. All right. So I'm going to go to 16 pounds by putting it in the bag, gripping that bag, getting on my elbow, raising that leg up, and I'm going to row this bag. One. Okay. Two. Three. Now I don't have the same range of movement, so I am going to come up on my arm, and so I can get more range of movement. I'm going to call that four, five, six. Still relaxing my head. Seven, eight, nine. Going to twelve, ten, eleven. And 12. Very good. All right, so pick up the can. I'm on my elbow again. My leg is up. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tighten your core. Seven. Keep your shoulders out of your ears. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So holding that leg up has a lot to do with your mind. Sooner or later, every exercise turns is mental, not physical. So what I'm going to do so I can get a better range of motion is I'm going to lie my gallons of water, which are sealed on their side, grab this bag. My elbow's on the chair. I'm going to try it from here again. And I'm going to row. Here we go. Relax my head. One. Two. That works better. Three. Four. Five. Six. Head's relaxed. Seven. Keep that leg up. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12. Now keep your leg up, grab the little weight, and we're doing the back fly. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that leg up. Six, seven. Squeeze your core. Eight. Nine, this is a posture correction here. 10, 11, 12, I think. Let's do one more. I wasn't sure about that number. All right, good. So it will help correct your posture as long as your chest is out during the exercise. So even though I'm leaning down and my chest is out, my arm comes up, by bringing that shoulder blade back, it helps prevent or correct the roundness. 
I may have in my upper back. All right. So we're doing boat pose. So we're sitting on the ground or sit, sitting in the chair. And if you're really struggling to keep that leg up in those last exercise, really focus, really concentrate. But if, if it's just really hard, then when you have to set it down, you set it down. It's okay. We're all going from where you have to start where you are. <laughs> That's the most important thing in fitness is to kind of know your starting point and, and then pay attention to how that point moves as you become more fit and more strong. Okay, stronger, fitter. All right, I'm in boat pose, balancing on my butt. I do not want to keep holding onto my legs. I want to let go. If you can keep your knees close and stay in a V, then you straighten your legs. We're holding this for 30 seconds. But if, you're, if your body starts opening up, I want you to bend your knees and hold it tighter. It's very important. Doing good. Doing good. Boat pose. Ten more seconds. Ten more. Okay, now it's only five. Keep holding. Squeeze your abs. Pull your belly button in. Close your left eye. Okay, I'm just kidding. All right, we're done. Good job. Good job. All right, we're going to repeat. Okay, take a quick sip of water if you need it. And that worked out really well for me to grab the bag to tip my gallons on their sides and grab the bag lower. All right, so I'm gonna do that again. Okay, everybody ready? Let's get ready, here we go. You're gonna grab your gallon of water or two gallons in a bag or you can just do it with a can. Or if you have weights at home, fives, eights, tens, twelves, what feels right for you. Go, these are big muscles, so if you can go heavy on this one, that's good. So I got my elbow down, my leg up, and we are, shoulders are out of my ears. And we're rowing. One, two, three, four, five, relax your head, six, seven, eight, pull that shoulder back every time, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very good. All right, I put my weight over here, so I gotta step down, get it. All right, get that leg back up if you had to drop it. And back fly, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, stay mentally strong. Six, seven, eight, because you're great. Nine. You could do this. 10, two more, 11, one more, 12, very nice. Oh, I feel the butt cheek in that standing leg, yes, while I'm focused on my back and my posture. All right, here we go, switching sides. Keep that small weight close by. Okay, grabbing my bag so I can lift more weight. Okay, my leg is up, I'm on my elbow, head's relaxed, and rowing. One, two, keep the shoulder out of your ear. Three, four, five, six, keep the knee bent on the standing leg. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, one more, and 12. Excellent, grabbing the little weight. Keep that leg up if you can. One, you can do it. Two, three, four, give your best shot, come on. Five, this is the third round. Six, seven, stay focused. Eight, this is great. Nine, you're doing fine. Ten, two more. Eleven, and twelve. Excellent. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Okay, we have both pose on the chair or on the floor. Ready, and we're holding it. All right, if you can straighten your legs, do it. Hmm. All right. 
Tighten that core, pull in that belly button. <sighs> Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Very important to take a deep breath. Deep breathing helps alleviate stress and helps lower cortisol. The other thing that helps with cortisol is human growth hormone. Where do you get that? When you exercise. Yay! And down. Good job. That's a water break. Water break. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to change this up now because we're back on our feet. Okay, how you doing? You hanging in there? Doing good? All right, get some water. Sometimes we've just got to focus on strength, not as much jumping around and things like that. That's what the functional fitness day is for. Coordination, balance. Today we're focusing on shoulders and some arms and some core. And because we worked out really hard in the series before this, just remember, if you're just finding me, just follow in order. Stay with me live or go to the Facebook videos and pick a number low down, like before 10. We'll start with number one. Number one one's very interesting. Totally different location. And then just follow it in numerical order. Okay. If you want more information, some bonus material, then I'm going to be gearing up more. Patreon.com slash Cam with a K, K-A-M. Parker, thank you for going there. All right, let's get on with the arms. Our favorite, other than the push-up, my favorite tricep exercise is, you said it, the kickback. So, to do a kickback, we hinge forward. My chest is out, shoulders are out of my ears, my elbows are high, and I kick the weights back. You can use the cans, or you can attempt to use the gallons. I think if you've been doing this a while, you might, you might surprise yourself with being able to do the gallons. And how do you get stronger with just those two things? Do the gallons as long as you can. Set them down quick, pick up the cans, keep going. All right, this, we're sticking to our magic number of 12. So I'm going to hinge forward, elbows high, and kick it back. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Don't rush. Five. You can kick it back there, but try to hold it for a second. Six, seven, eight. Nine, hold a good hinge position, shoulders out of your ears, 10, 11, and 12. Very good. All right, keep those weights. Or you can also switch, if you got the can, switch to gallons. We're doing marching bicep curls. So we just curl together and march. One, two, if you don't want to march, you can be seated. Three, four, five. Six, seven, let them down slower. Eight, nine, let them down slower. Ten, feel the difference when you do that. Eleven versus just falling down. And twelve, very good. All right, now this is where we need the belt or anything that won't stretch. And I actually have something called a stretch stretching strap it's not stretching so anything a belt that you can have and what we're going to do is i'm going to put tension like i'm going to pull it apart that's why you don't want it to be stretchy so a belt is fine you could probably use an extension cord but be careful don't plug it in okay all right here we go pulling on it so i'm pulling outwards it's not going to move because it doesn't stretch but i'm going to pull as hard as i can i'm going to raise up over my head to whatever my range of motion is and back down. That's one. Two, I am trying to rip this very strong piece of cloth apart. <laughs> you could use a towel, five, but that's a little harder on the hands. Six, I might skip one there. It's okay. Seven, come on. Eight, oh yeah, this works. Keep pulling. Nine. 10, it's up to you to build a vigorosity. Come on, 11, one more, and 12. Ugh, good, oh, that works because you're fighting or creating strength or resistance with your own muscle, right? Because you're pulling it apart and moving and focused, okay? All right, we get to do all that again? That's right. 
Okay, first one's that tricep kickback. Yes. One of my favorite. If you want nice triceps, the back of your arm, remember the secret to a nice arm is not the bicep. It's the tricep. And women tend to store body fat here, so that's why you got to learn how to eat. Impact eating, low glycemic impact eating. Look for bonus material coming at Patreon on how to do that. And then you add tricep kickbacks and push-ups. Yeah! And then you use your biceps all the time, especially if you work out with me. Okay, so hinge position. Chest is out, shoulders down, elbows high. 12 reps, ready? One, two, three. Don't rush, Cam, okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It makes a difference when you focus and don't rush. Ten, come on. Eleven, really try to fill it back there. And twelve, good job. Whoa. Okay. Marching bicep curls, or we have 12 to do. I'm going to balance on one leg, right? Hold the other knee high, and I'm going to curl, and at six, I'm going to switch legs. So this adds more of a balanced component. Standing tall, ready, go. One, you can march as well. Two, or just stand there and curl. Three, Four, five, oh yeah, six, switching legs, see how quickly I can get balanced on the other leg, seven, yes, eight, oh, oh see, it works, nine, you may have already done nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Very good. Okay, we're picking up our belt or our strap. Whew, here we go. I got to pull, right? So you can see the position of my arms. I'm gripping this strap and I'm pulling it apart. Okay, pull hard as I can, lower down, bring it up. That's one, two, three. Four, keep it slow, keep pulling. Five, oh yeah, come on. Six, you build the intensity with your own mind. I'm going to squeeze my glutes because I'm just standing here. Eight, and I get an added benefit, squeeze my abs. Nine, ten, keep going. Eleven, oh yeah, one more. And... 12. Excellent. Oh, shake that off. Roll your shoulders around. Right? We got one more round. Okay, so roll those shoulders. Okay. If you don't really feel much with that, you've got, remember, I'm pulling. Remember how we like squeeze the ball and we squeeze as hard as we can? Well, this is the opposite. I'm pulling apart as hard as I can while going through those movements. Okay? All right. Good, 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 good. One more round. Woo. We got this. Yes, we do. Take a deep breath. So say those three words. Remember, oh, those aren't the three words. I am strong. Say that again. I am strong. Yes, you are. So remember that the more you focus, the third rounds of each time we do this, where you have tremendous focus and you intensify the movement with your brain, flex your muscle with your brain, not just with the weights. That's where all your results come from, is that intensity that you do safely and that you've built to. All right, the volume of the work, meaning how much you've done and how intense that work is. Okay, here we go. All right, hinge position. Elbows are high. Shoulders are out of my ears. Ready and go. One, trying to squeeze it back for at least a second. Two, that's going to intensify it. Three, don't be in a hurry and just let it drop. Four, yeah. Five. Very good. Six. Come on. Seven. Concentrate. Eight. 
nine, feeling good, feeling strong, 10, two more, 11, one more, and 12, yes, very good. Now do this, just go into that hinge, put those arms back with no weight, and just flex them hard, you feel that? Welcome to your triceps, that's what they are, that's where they are, okay, good job. You can just stand and flex them, but for some reason when you're here and you kind of hold them against gravity, I can feel it more. Yes. Okay, bicep curls. You're either standing in that power stance or you're marching, or I'm going to go back to that, the balance, because like everyone, i got to stay focused and make sure I work on my balance as well so I can keep it. All right, so I'm picking up a leg. I'm going to pick my knee up, which makes it a little more challenging. <laughs> Okay, tighten your core. Ready, go. One, two, slow on the way down. Three, four, slow on the way down. Five, six, switching feet if you're balanced on one leg. Get the other knee high. Seven, eight, Nine, come on now, 10, tighten your core, 11, let them down slow, 12, let it down slow, let it down slow, beautiful. All right, grab the strap, you can see my arm position, they're not right in front of me, it's a little bit wider than my shoulders, and I'm pulling as hard as I can, I'm dropping it down, keeping my chest out the whole time, one. Two, mm. how strong are your muscles? How strong are you? Three, max effort. Four, you can do this, come on. Five, yes, chest is out. Six, come on now. And seven, yes. And eight, keep it up there, keep it up there. Nine, keep pulling. Ten, we got two more. I hope you're feeling it. I'm feeling it. Pull harder. Eleven, one more. And twelve. Just hold it up there this time. Hold it up there and relax. Oh. Woo! Birdie, birdie, birdie. Congratulations. You just made it through your workout. The whole thing. That's right. That's it. Bravo. Bravo. Very concise, very focused. Very targeted workout. Oh, so what's the secret now? We gotta cool down is one of the secrets. So we're gonna, let's just do this with our arms for a second. I can really feel, some people call it the pump from doing that pull. And, and what I'm trying, what we're doing is we're attempting to activate this long core muscle, this lat. And I hope if you grab it, you feel it right there, okay? The muscle. So. And uh, remember the key to getting the most from your workouts is that you need to eat a breakfast within 30 minutes, or if you're doing this at any time of the day, you want to eat within 30 minutes. That will help you peak something I mentioned early, or human growth hormone. Human growth hormone, lipotropic hormone, helps trump cortisol. It helps take it down, helps beat it down, cortisol. Cortisol is your friend, it helps you get up in the day, but if you have too much, it has all these negative ramifications and exercise is the solution. You make your own medicine by exercising to take care of cortisol, okay? Good job. All right, so let's stretch like this. Oh, a lot of people don't know that. They think stress is just stress. They don't understand the biochemicals that are going on. And that's something that myself and April Dennis, who's an integrative health and nutrition coach, we talk about it all the time uh, because cortisol can really ring your bell in a bad way because you could be really super fit and really taking care of yourself, but if you don't manage your stress, then in truth, exercise might not even be a good idea if you're so stressed you're not eating. Right, because you have to fuel the movement. Okay, so I'm gonna take my hands, lace them behind me, pull my shoulders down. This is your educational food coaching moment brought to you, but of course you want to defer to the recommendations of your licensed healthcare professional. 
But remember, I am like a fitness pit bull, like a fitness advocate, and I want you to be as healthy and happy as you can be. And eating well has 80% to do with that, and exercise is in the 20%. So wellness is health plus fitness. That's right, health happens in the kitchen, and fitness happens here when you exercise. Yay! Okay, so we're going to take our arm, bring it over our head, and put, I'm going to put my feet together so I have a better stretch because I'm going to push my hip out and stretch down the sides of my body. Yes, catch up. We're going to go the other way. Mm. Yes, yes. Oh, that feels really good. All right, last thing. Empty coat sleeves, nice and relaxed. And then we will breathe together. And I just want you to think about centering love in your life and that tender, loving self-care you're doing right now. Just stay focused, stay anchored on that. Right now, love, hashtag love is a superpower. That's right, it is, it gives you superpowers. Just keep, when, when you're feeling down or you're feeling sad or things are too much, just come right back to loving yourself and loving others. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, here we go. Let's breathe together. We're going to breathe in love, especially love for ourselves, because that's the most powerful love. Here we go. Very good. Do that again. Here we go. Big inhale. Just make a little noise when you let that exit. Remember, love infects your body and it's contagious to the world. So here we go. Let's do it again. All right. You did so good. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in a couple days. Take care of yourself and take care of everyone around you as best you can. Just send them love. I love you.